He breathes, talks. How is a person supposed to get any sleep around here? And even coughs. <laughs> His name is Sim Man, and he's one of the newest additions to Martha Jefferson's Clinical Simulation Learning Center. There's many basic skills that we can learn or improve upon, but really it's the more critical thinking aspects that Sim Man and the more high fidelity mannequins really help us do. Whether it's the first day on the job or the 20th year, nurses, doctors, other healthcare workers, and even some area college students can come here to sharpen their skills. It's a great opportunity for people to practice things in a safe environment and to repeat these skills over and over until they feel more comfortable. So when they're doing it on an actual patient, it's not the first time they've done that. From emergency or trauma situations to routine tasks, Sim Man and other mannequins are making a difference in hands-on learning. Can you CPR? Some of them are more just task trainers, which they do certain skills, passing tubes and IVs and things. And then we have more high fidelity mannequins, which actually have sounds. You can hear the different sounds of the hearts and the lungs, the stomach. It's not only the high tech mannequins that are enhancing the clinical simulation learning center. We have more space here, so we're able to use this area more often. Um, also, it's more open for other disciplines to work with this. So we do have, you know, um, the lab will come in and use it as well as, you know, um, physical therapy, respiratory. So there's enough space for all of us to work in here together. A group coming together to simulate situations so that they can be prepared for the day they may have to put their training to use. Stephanie Satchel, CBS 19 News.